Hey there folks, it's Antar. I'm feeling a little under the weather, but I'm going to try to narrate this battle anyway because I'm a stubborn bastard. Anyway, it's a UU battle against my name is exclamation. Um, if you remember the last UU battle I had with this team, it had Hitmon top instead of Gallade. Um, this battle actually predates that other battle, which is why you see um, Deoxys on this team, even though Deoxys is now borderline. Anyway, um... I was expecting him to lead with someone else, and so predicting the Stone Edge, I actually, or predicting any kind of physical move, I go into Pazuzu knowing that it can probably take it, um, because Pazuzu is a physical wall. Uh, stone Edge, even the Stone Edge only does about 50%. Um, still, I don't want to die, so I go ahead knowing that he's locked into Stone Edge, I can switch out into Mikhail. Um, I go for the Shadow Sneak as he switches into Chandelure, and I get a critical hit to one hit KO that Chandelure. That crit definitely mattered, um, but, you know. Whatever. Um, switching out into Elkabong here as he sends out Empoleon. Not that I have anything to hit this thing super effectively with, but I at least can put it to sleep. So that is a sleeping Empoleon. I wasn't sure what set it was running. It appears it's the support set. <clears throat> Sorry, the support set. So anyway, I go out into Pazuzu, my Zapdos, and I'm just hoping that it doesn't wake up. So um, I can just go ahead and roost, maybe even on the switch. Otherwise, maybe just while he's burning his sleep turn. Anyway, he decides to switch. Um, he doesn't appear to have a cleric on his team, which is good for me. I go for the Roost, I was going to come to Deoxys, and I really, well, okay, that's not true, my Durant and my Chandler both can really counter this Deoxys, but I'm not going to want to send it in on a non-free switch, uh, either one, because this thing could do potentially nasty things. Anyway, oh yeah, I've got a uh, Umbreon too, but unfortunately that thing has Taunt, and Payback's not going to do enough. Anyway, he's doing what Deoxys always do, it sets up spikes. <clears throat> I don't have a spinner since there's no Hitmon top on this team. I'm pretty sure because of this battle, it was why I decided to um, try Hitmon top out. I didn't really like Hitmon top on this team. I actually really like how well Gallade does. Anyway, pretty team set up another round of spikes, or hey, go for the recover, that works too. I send out Lusitania, my uh, Durant, which I'm, unless that thing has Hasmic Toss, uh, has really nothing to fear, so I go for the Home Claws. Um, and now it's going to be able to come gonna come on Polion, but I am at plus one and something, what the hell, go for the next center, see how much it does. It does over half because, my god, is that an amazing Pokemon I've got there. Um, life orb damage really does screw this thing over, but, you know, I can always switch out into, um, you know, I can always do some uh, wishing with Umbreon. Anyway, I wanted to see what he would lock himself into. He goes for the close combat. I was actually hoping that maybe he was banded and I could survive it. Unfortunately, he's scarfed. I should have known that actually from the damage he did to uh, Zapdos. Anyway, Chandelure is going to force his switch, and my uh, Chandelure is the sub pain split set, so I'm going to be able to get off a free sub, and as long as the thing doesn't carry Roar, I should be okay. Um, it looks like it's an offensive set. goes for the Thunderbolt, and I'm just going to go for the Fire Blast and see how much damage it does. Uh, it's going to be the uh, attack that does the most amount of damage. I get him down to under a quarter. Too bad I don't have anyone to set up Stealth Rocks on this team. I mean, the idea of, the, of this team was that my entry hazard would be um, Roserade's Toxic Spikes, but I don't know that I really like that. Uh, it really doesn't. It really isn't too effective. And I'm not even bothering setting up um, Toxic Spikes, considering he's got one Guts Pokemon um, and one Spinner, and uh, two other Pokemon that are immune to it. So, it really wouldn't benefit me too much to have Toxic Spikes on the field. I learned that mistake the last time, in terms of, you know, uh, Toxicking a, um, whatchamacallit, a, a uh, Heracross. Anyway, Payback is not really doing very much against Zapdos, but I did survive enough to get off a Wish, and so his attacks aren't doing enough that, you know, the Wish is really gonna worry me. He sends out Empoleon, I go for the Wish, I'm gonna be able to switch out into Chandelure. Chandelure is going to very, very much appreciate that Wish, um, I think I'll be able to recover back up a lot of health. And, you know, I need it. I'm down to 34 HP after those entry hazards. But now, after that beautiful wish, I'm almost back up to full. God, I love wish passing. And, um, I know that Empoleon's gonna be asleep for at least one more turn. So I go for the sub. Um, figure it was a good idea. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and fire blast this puppy. Um, oh, it's sub pain split, right? I was trying to figure out what the fourth move was. I was like, do I have Calm Mind? No, I don't have Calm Mind. It's sub uh, pain split, Shadow Ball, uh, Fire Blast. Anyway, unfortunately, he's got the Roar. Definitely a support Empoleon. Um, but he's just gonna take a lot of damage from those Stealth Rocks. But at that range of health, I know I've got a KO in the bag. My opponent could switch out, and really, that probably would have been. Indeed, my opponent is going to switch out Empoleon. Go out into Deoxys! 
which is such a thorn in my side. I don't really know how I'm going to deal with it, uh, to be honest. Depending on whether it's running toxic, though, it might not actually be able to do anything to my Chandelure. Um, I let him set up spikes. Really, I should have switched out on the Chandelure. Maybe even Gallade. Um, you know, this isn't a really good matchup. Or I could have sent out uh, Roser. Well, I wouldn't want to send out Roserade because uh, he's going to outspeed, so therefore I can't put it to sleep. So anyway, he's just stalling me out, going for those recoveries. Now we both have pressure, so uh, he's going to win the he's going to win the um, stall war if it really comes to that. But he just he keeps on setting up spikes. He's got all three layers of spikes up. That's not going to be good for any of my grounded Pokemon. Um, go for another T-Bow, get him down to under half, or about half, uh, he goes for the recovery, I think I'm trying to predict his recovery here, um, not really sure what I'm doing, I think I might be going for the Parahax, <clears throat> really it's not working out for me, um, he goes for Seismic Toss, <clears throat> and he can always taunt me to prevent me from roosting, so really need to be wary of that, um, recovering a little bit of health with leftovers, I go ahead and switch out here. It, it, it was time. I send out Ikea. <clears throat> so I know that he's got Seismic Toss and not... Well, I mean, he might have Toxic, I guess. So it's Spikes, Recover, Seismic Toss, and I don't think I've seen the Force... Oh, Taunt! Yeah, so I know he doesn't have um, Toxic. So he goes ahead and taunts me. I can't go for the sub. I was printing a Switch. Um, but now he's going to be able to get off a much better Switch. Uh, so now he switches out into Zapdos. I just go for the Fire Blast, thinking, okay, well, now he really has to switch because he's got nothing to do. And really, that was the best move I had. I take out his Zapdos, and that is fantabulous. Fan freaking tabulous. Anyway, that's now going to come Heracross. I was hoping a Stone Edge would miss. Instead, he goes for Night Slash. But that's okay. Well, it's not okay, really. Um, Glade is. Um, well, I mean, at the range of health, a uh, Bandit Shadow Sneak might actually KO. I'm not sure. Uh, I actually carry the Drain Punch, and so, yeah, it would have been resisted, but I guess I was predicting to switch out, um, because... Well, I mean, Night Slash actually would have been a decent move and would have done a lot of damage to me, so... It's actually a mistake not to switch out, and I actually should have gone out into my Umbreon, uh, truth be told. Anyway, he goes for a High Jump Kick. No idea why he did that, considering those resisted. I guess he was thinking... No, I have no idea why he would go for a high jump kick. Uh, if I had switched out on anyone, it wouldn't have been Umbreon, because it's a Hitmontop after all. And, you know, seriously though, I mean, uh, I wouldn't have sent out Umbreon and the other three Pokemon resist fighting time moves, so I have no idea. But now he sends, uh, switches out Hitmontop, goes out into Deoxys. Um, I'm locked into Drain Punch because I am, as I said, banded. Uh, it would be really nice to trick um, that band onto this Deoxys, make it completely worthless, except for the fact that he has Taunt and is faster. This is why Deoxys is banned from UU, because it's so fast, and it has Taunt, and it is so bulky, and yeah, uh, people just decided it was broken. Anyway, Umbreon unfortunately is going to be Death Fodder here because my opponent goes for... I was hoping my opponent might go for the Toxic, so I'm expecting a switch. Um, no such luck, just one. Two seismic tosses for the KO, so that Deoxys is at 100% health. I just don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to go for the Sleep Powder here on the off chance that he goes for the seismic toss. Uh, he does not. He goes for the taunt, prevents me from sleep powdering. Excellent move. Excellent, excellent move. Uh, my opponent's going to go for the seismic toss. I'm going to go for the Giga Drain. Hope that I recover back up above 100. And indeed, I'm at 108. Yay, 108, but he's got recover, so it's not like I'm going to win this installing war. Um... I'm just hoping to get off some damage against this guy. Go for another Giga Drain! Uh, he's now down below 50% health. Um, and here my opponent really should recover. Oh, yeah, sorry. I, I, he goes for the Taunt. Um, yeah, no, never mind. He should go for the Seismic Toss. I'm just kidding. Uh, so he takes me out with Seismic Toss. And now I guess free switch into someone else. Um, I just have to send out Mikhail, my Gallade. And just, you know, I have just enough HP that, um, you know, I can take one Seismic Toss. My opponent actually made a huge mistake not switching out. There was no reason for him not to switch out. And here, here there's absolutely zero reason for him not to go for Recover or to switch out. Oh no, well, I mean, not Recover. There's no reason for him not to switch out here. He could have switched out into Hitmontop, he could have switched out into Heracross. Well, maybe not Heracross since it's pretty low in HP. But yeah, so I've gotten a KO against the Deoxys, and I don't know how I would have done that otherwise. So... Glade is going to die to a Scald here, but it did good work. I am act I like Glade. I, I really do. Um, probably I should go for have close combat and not Drain Punch, uh, considering it's a Bandit set. It's kind of weird to run a such a weak move on a Bandit set, but whatever. Anyway, here, my opponent has exactly one chance. Send out Heracross and attack right away. Unfortunately, my opponent sends out Hitmontop, um, which is going to allow me to get off more recovery. 
had he not done that, had he gone straight out into Heracross, there was a decent chance that a Stone Edge would have hit and KO'd. But here, unless he gets a crit, this is game over. Well, I mean, it's going to be game over in any case because we're each uh, down to our last Pokemon. But I survived with 32 HP. I knew I would survive. And I take out with a Thunderbolt, and I win the game. So, <clears throat> sorry for the raspy voice, folks. So long.